Bismillah, salam, assalamu alaikum, ala rasulillah, assalamu alaikum, all the law learners. Warm greeting in this sacred month of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, of course. I hope that you are preparing yourself for the BM examination. Uh, we're still dealing with sequence one. Uh, me, universal landmarks and outstanding figures in literature, history, and arts. Today is session is very important session I guess it's uh, about I think I'm right so I'm going to write an email inshallah uh, I'm going to see so the topic a topic uh, taken from your textbook task 1 page 44-45 your English weapon Richard has asked you about famous Algerian writers you have decided to write him an email in which you will give him some bibliographical information about the chosen Ketib Yassin, an outstanding modern Algerian writer. So, the pre writing phase is very important in writing, okay? It's very important. Those are some, let's say, uh, uh, piece of advice. At first, in this stage, you need to collect, gather data from different sources just like books your textbooks magazines the internet etc the next point you need to draw and organize an outline a spider map for example or layout in order to avoid being out of topic at last but not at least you have to choose your vocabulary carefully related to the topic let's see what you have in page 44 okay you've taken it from your uh, textbook, page 44, the bibliographical card concerning Ketabiasi. Okay, we have some points, his uh, birth and death. Okay, August 2nd, 1929, Ketabiasi was born in Smendu near Constantine, October 28, 1989. Ketabiasi died in Grenoble, France, May 8th, 19. 45, a famous date when the demonstration of Steve Harata and Gelma broke out. The young Ketab Yassin was a boarder at Steve High School in Elysee. May 11, 1945, he was arrested and held for two months. After that, he was not allowed back into school. During his detention, it means during his being in jail or in prison, his mother became insane. From 1947 until his death, Ketib Yassin's life was one long errancy through the world and every kind of writing, journalism, poetry, plays, novels, etc. 1956, he published Nijma, a novel, okay, novel, I said thick book, beware, but also a poem, okay, at the same time. Nijma is a woman whose name translates as a star, used to symbolize Algeria. The motherland. 1959, Ketab Yassin created an Algerian theater, an Algerian theater with Le Cercle de la Prisai and other works, okay, etc. He has a rich literary production. Now, let's see the layout. Of course, the layout, whenever you write an email, you've got a layout. We have salutation, greeting, I mean introduction, development, conclusion, and the closing, okay? Closing in letter or in email. In salutation, you've got plenty of things you can put, for example, hello, hi, dear Richard, etc. Introduction is about from one to two sentences, give Katabiasin's date and place of birth, talk about the importance of his writings, his attitude and opinion during the French colonialism or colonial period the most important part which is development from four to five sentences give information about Ketab Yassin's life the most important event in his life not everything and writings his important works in literature fiction and drama now organize this bibliographical information in a chronological order as uh, we have uh, dealt with time sequencers and remember to express cause and effect using the appropriate connectors which you have learned. Of course, in I think and write, we have an outcome 
of everything that you've learned during that this sequence. Conclusion, you just from one to two sentences, give Cethegius' date and place of death and mention that he's one of the most respected and talented figures in Algerian literature. The closing, okay, uh, you've got plenty of things, of course. Kind regards, regards, bye for now, etc. Let's see. The drafting phase, okay, we are entering in the middle. Drafting phase, it means you are going to start writing on your papers. In this stage, you need to follow the instructions given in the topic, of course, in order not to go out of the topic. Organization is not important in the beginning of this stage, but writing more than one draft is highly recommended. It means you're not going to write the first draft, you give it to your teacher. No, I'm going to write at least three, three uh, drafts before to choose carefully the best one and you rewrite it again in the last phase, of course. The final draft, as I'm talking about, of this stage should be very organized as you are going to give it to your teacher, but not yet. Let's see the something you have to take into consideration whenever you draw the email. You have to write, for example, the email to, it means you send it to Richard Paxton, for example, don't forget at send mail or gmail, whatever you want to do, dot com or dot uk okay you can create of course here you are going to put normally your email okay for example uh, ahmed85 at gmail.dz or dot com of course remember to write the subject okay the topic that you are going to talk you are going to talk about algerian writer okay you can start for example this is the most important, okay? This is the most important layout in the email. Sender, uh, sorry, the sender, the receiver, okay? Sender, the receiver, and the subject. Let's see the, 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 the second part. Hello, Richard. Last time you asked me about outstanding Algerian writers, so he's one of them. He was born, and you start writing your email. Let's see the, the one that uh, I tried to write, for example. The, the receiver is Richard Paxton. The sender, it means you. Okay, whatever. The ones, uh, no name, uh, at freemail.dz. The subject, always famous Algerian writer. Let's see what we have written. And of course, the layout. Hello Richard, last time you asked me uh, uh, about an outstanding Algerian writers, sorry, about outstanding Algerian writers, plural of course, so here's one of them, his name is Ketebis, okay, this is a kind of introduction. He was born on August 2nd, 1929 in Smendou near Constantine, eastern of Algeria. During the brute French colonialism, he struggled to bring consciousness and awareness to the Algerian people. Ketebius, he was educated in French colonial schools until the demonstrations of Steph Gelma and Harata broke out on May 8, 1945. Two days later, he was arrested and imprisoned for two months because he took part in these demonstrations. As a result, okay, as a result that we have learned cause and effect, he was expelled, okay, not alone. He was expelled from school and his life became long, wandering around the world. In 1956, he published Nijma. Okay, I'm take, uh, I was just taking one of his novels, Nijma, a novel which represents Algeria, the motherland. Three years later, he created an Algerian theater with Le Cercle de Reprisai. Okay, Kate Biasin died on October. 28th, 1989, in Grenoble, France. This talented writer, I'm trying to close this the conclusion, of course, this talented writer is one of the most important and respected figures in the Algerian literature. 
This is a brief biography about this great writer. If you need more information, please let me know. My best regard, for example, you have to put your name here as a signature, but not in the brevet. But well, okay. Now, it is not the time to give the paper yet. We need a what is called the last phase, a proof reading phase. In this stage, okay, as a piece of advice, you need to work with your partner in which you exchange ideas to improve your writing skills, okay? You cannot work alone. You need someone else to correct your grammatical mistakes. Maybe another person who sees the topic from another angle. And another, another person to help you in your style, maybe. Then, and only then, you can give your work to your teacher for final correction. Okay, you've got suggested topic in your book. It is uh, task two, page 46. Uh, your English teacher has, uh, has asked you to write a short description of the historic Algeria in Denmark. The best text will be published by your school website. For example, you have decided to write about the Roman town of Timgad, which is a worldwide known UNESCO World Heritage site okay try with this topic in order to improve your writing dealing with landmarks till next time inshallah thanks for watching take care of course keep on uh, revising your lessons in order to pass to the dc goodbye assalamu alaikum ramadan mubarak